Welcome back to the channel where I give you my recommendations for streaming content up front and then you stay tuned and I give you my reasons why I gave it that recommendation. Today I'm going to go ahead and actually review Rise of the Golden Gomes on Tubi for target audience members, people that are fans of gritty inner city crime dramas, drug movies, things of that nature. I'm going to go and actually say watch one episode of this series. But if you're a casual viewer, those aren't the type of genres that you like and you're just kind of, you'd be just tuning in just to see if it's worth it. I'm going to tell you to go and actually skip it. Now, stay tuned and I'll go ahead and actually give you my reasons on why I gave you those recommendations. Rise of the Golden Goons is a crime drama series that premiered on Tubi in March of 2024. The first season consists of six episodes that average about 30 minutes apiece. It stars Timon Lawson as Eric Bellamy, Tehran Lawson as Keith Bellamy, and Antoine Evans as Jeremy. The series follows three friends who find themselves caught up in a world of drugs, violence, and family betrayal after witnessing a murder. Now me, I'm a fan of gritty inner city types of stories and, and things of that nature, crime dramas or what have you, but I don't go out of my way to find them meaning that if they come across or that i'm flicking through or whatever i'll go and actually watch them but they're not ones that i'm going to keep an eye out for to say oh i definitely have to watch this okay so for me this type of series i'm about neutral you should always know the perspective of your reviewer when taking into account what they're recommending to you as for me i watch the first two episodes of brand new streaming content on the streaming platforms to see if it's worth it for you i watch it so you don't have to if you like how it sounds do me a favor click like share subscribe and now on to the review. Now, this particular series is part of my Varnell Hill videos because it asks, Did you miss me? That's right. These are the series that have been streaming for at least six months or longer, but they haven't gotten any attention. I like to highlight these series to see if they deserve the lack of attention that they're getting me and like no one cares and that's deserved. Or sometimes you might find it diamond in the rough. So that's where we're going with these types of series. Now, after I watched uh, Rise of the Golden Goons, I went ahead and actually kind of got a uh, The Wire meets Dope kind of vibe. And if you've seen any of those series, you kind of see where I'm going with that. The series starts off with some humorous narration, but it quickly becomes clear that the dialogue and pacing are a bit rough. Now, there are some decent establishing shots in here, but overall, the production quality feels a bit low budget. So here's my first, here's my thoughts while I was going over the episodes, just to kind of give you a feel for what I saw. So in episode one, um, it starts with a flashback to a movie called Renegade, which of course is a low budget movie that if that exists, I couldn't really find it or what have you. But if it does exist, uh, the fact that we would have to go and actually search it in order to kind of understand where the story is going is kind of weird. So it starts off that way. The, narr the narrator is trying too hard to kind of be cool and mysterious, and it really takes away from whatever is going on on the screen and makes it hard to go ahead and actually take it seriously. Now the dialogue is weak and the characters, they feel very one dimensional, meaning that they just don't have any growth in that first episode. The detectives that are in this particular series are distracting. The way that they're dressed, the way that they carry themselves, it's just like they're trying too hard to be cool and that kind of throws everything off. You need a warrant for that? Fuck a warrant. Um, the episode struggles with time progression because there is the aspect of like, it's supposed to be like a couple of different days, but we see the same weather, we see the same clothing, whatever. Like they didn't do a lot to go in and convince you that some different days are happening or what have you in that first episode. So that was kind of a little, it just was off-putting. The, the real good performance on here, because there wasn't a lot of good performances on here, but the one good performance is by an actress who unfortunately she doesn't last long in that first episode but it was very believable i liked it it was a good delivery what have you but she was kind of the stand out in this episode the ending for episode one was very underwhelming it was just kind of like it just ends and it didn't make it like bingeable where i want to get to that second episode so that's what i saw in the first one in the second episode we get another flashback to a bank robbery or what have you and it's giving you a little bit more details behind the scenes on uh, one of the main characters uh parents or what have you so it's another flashback scene started off. Uh, the narration continues to go ahead and actually be done by the same person again, very distracting. There is, in the second episode, there's this long unnecessary sex scene that, I mean, hey, you know, get to go ahead and actually do something, go ahead and actually show some bad guys or whatever, I get it. But good grief. This was, I think it went on for probably about four or five minutes. And on a Tubi, 
show you want to do as much to build characters to build credibility whatever and this one just i don't know the sex scene was just seeing just all kinds of crazy what have you there's some really good decent establishing shots of washington dc in this which was like really cool it really kind of set the stage for hey this is an inner city type of thing on there and i think they really did a good job with that there's some execution as far as the special effects that were just very rudimentary it's some very like mid to late 80s type of special effects for like the blood and gunshot and things like that so uh the the second episode not a whole lot to go ahead and actually grab on to there's a little bit more to story building but not so much a compelling aspect of it so those are kind of like my initial thoughts so let me grade it out on both my storytelling and the acting so for storytelling i'm going to go ahead and actually give it a d uh, the reason why is that you know telling stories about drugs crime uh guns all that kind of stuff in inner city america it's not difficult to find you can find those stories anywhere just pick up a paper or in these days go ahead and actually pull up a website about a uh urban city in north america and you're going to go and actually find these types of stories they've been told in very nuanced and engaging ways over the past couple of decades as they starting to come more and more out but this particular series it suffers from poor pacing non-realistic dialogue and a very incoherent plot the multiple flashbacks and narration don't help to make the series in their attempts to at least be engaging and entertaining with characters or scenes and it just wasn't that good when you look at everything as a whole there's nothing here that says that there's strong things to go and actually pull you in as far as the story so in regards to acting i'm going to go and actually go with a d plus i acknowledge the writing was bad for this series so as an actor it would have been difficult to pull something realistic out of the dialogue but that being said having young actors as main characters doesn't help they don't even really sound like real teenagers um they were trying but it just wasn't good probably because of the lines that they were given and they probably didn't have a lot of room to go and actually freestyle and try and get their own lines to sound a little bit more realistic the adults didn't sound much better now if the writing is bad then you've got to do something with your face your vocals your body language in a scene just to make it more believable to go and actually execute the delivery and make it just put a little bit of emphasis on it uh, but it really just didn't happen here the only reason why i didn't fail this as a whole is that you can see that a few of the actors are really trying really hard to go ahead and actually do something with this and they care about it so i think i just you know a little bit of a heart going out to that and then there's one scene outside of a story in episode one that i thought was pretty decent so that's why i gave it d plus okay overall my last impressions of this particular series is target audiences might like the scenes of dc pretty good establishing shots they might like the look and the feel of the city uh, the cast definitely got some got their hands on some nice cars um and it really increased the look as far as they're going for like some of the wealthy aspects of things or what have you so that was nice um and it's a coming of age story that maybe someone who likes those types of tales can get behind but you're going to be able to make that decision in, a, in one episode don't need to go and actually go on to the two to see if this is for you or not but casual audiences just don't sit through this i i'm not going to continue to diminish the product i would just go and say there's better options if you really want to watch uh this this kind of series what have you overall rise of golden goons is a disappointing effort and while it has potential the execution is lacking in many areas and if you're looking for something that's of that type of series on there i would go and actually take a look at some other series like dope or the wire or something of that nature but that's my review for the rise of the golden goons check it out on tubi now you stay for the entire review i appreciate you do me a favor click like share subscribe if you liked any of this or i can handle it you know if you gotta go got some comments go and actually throw those below for me but if you want to take a look at some of these other videos that the algorithm thinks that you might like of mine but until next time i'll holler at you take care of yourself